morning. Good morning, good morning. I've got a terrible scope thing going on here. And I hate doing the scope from the car because I just think it's just so dumb. So I apologize to do it from the car. But I've got to fit people in. So I'm driving hands-free. I'm not going to do a scope long because I don't want to unfocus. I got a microphone in that kind of stuff. One of the most important things I think about when I start my day is what it's going to look like the rest of the day. And you've, if you've heard me scope before, if you've heard me scope before, you've, you've heard me rant about setting goals and how important goals are. are. I can't look into the phone. I'm at a light, but I'm hands-free. And I wanted to spend just a couple moments with you and talk about the types of things we all think about. I mean, this morning, so many things are starting to rattle in my head. I'm a, I'm a pretty positive guy. And it's a pretty quiet morning. And I started to think a little too much about some things that are just not part of my day. You know, every day for me is not always super positive. But I really, really try to make it positive. So I, I reached over and I grabbed one of my books and I'm going to read I'm going to be talking about this book today. I read it before. I don't know how effective this scope is. I'm not going to give too, too much content. But what I'm going to tell you is that it's a little bit of... It's a little bit of BS what we put into our heads and how we start our day. It's a little bit of, of challenges. It's a, it's a bit of... A struggle when we wake up and it's it's this even though it's good sometimes you still are I mean my day is really good my, my life is really good and sometimes I just want a little bit more and I start putting that seed into my head and the, the challenge is is that it, that seed becomes bigger and you have to break the cycle so I was already beating myself up about Maybe I don't have enough time to scope this morning. Well, you know, and, and little thoughts like that. So at the end of the day, you can take a very small thought and you can make it into a big challenge, a big problem. And that's what we want to move away from. We want to move away for, from that and we want to start our day and we want to set it. We want to set the day. We want to set the tone for the day. Uh, it's nine o'clock. I'm a lucky guy. I'm. I'm. I, I. I don't have to be at work at a certain time. I don't have to punch a clock per se, but I do have to work. That's that's the thing. So, I guess when I talk about on my scopes, I talk about goals. I talk about the law of attraction. Yesterday, it was a great question from one of the the viewers who were talking about. Um, who asked me how to pr push and promote a small business. I've got the answers. I mean, I really have the answers. You can take that answer and use it and come up with your own conclusion, which is awesome, I think. It's a, it's a start. Or you can just ignore everything and, and try to do everything yourself. So when I talk about yourself, I talk about Tony, yourself as well. You know, you don't need to do that. What you need to do is you need to listen and and I'm speaking to myself you need to listen and you need to read the books you need to do the work you need to uh, listen to the audio out there because you can find little nuggets out there from all types of things and you can set the tone for the day and uh, I think we're gonna get into a patchy spot with the signal so I'm not gonna keep talking it's really really beautiful around here I take a beautiful ride if you can see the sky but it's, it's really beautiful All right. it's it's really this is basically what I complain about on my scopes I say no fluff and this is just a lot of fluff it's probably a fluff scope that I'm presenting it's not you know um, at the end of the day 
Are you setting the tone for yourself? And I'm asking that of myself too. I'm like, Tony, are you setting the tone for the rest of the day? Are you smiling? Are you really smiling at people? Are you smiling at yourself? Are you in a good mood? And, and, and what are you grateful for? Start, start to talk about, start to think about what you're grateful about. This morning, I gotta be honest, I, I slept in just a, a bit. And I slept in, and those few extra minutes of sleep really didn't gain me too much on the mindset. I, I have to, I usually do three things in the morning. I, I, do, I do an exercise, and I, I want to recommend it to you. But it's, it takes about 10 minutes to do, 5, 10 minutes. And w- what you do first is you, you write what you're grateful for. You write, you write three things as, you know, what are you grateful for, okay? And you start uh, l- looking at that aspect, and then you you start you write three things that you're you you want. You start writing three things that you want. The uh, in in ultimately in your life, uh, you know. I've been thinking about attracting love, more love into my life, more you know positive energy into my life, more. Um, you know, more, just, uh, you know, more of peace and harmony in my life. Eddie, uh, so I'm looking down, I'm at a red light, but I'm going to stop the scope because I, I don't want to encourage scoping while you drive. I just think it's the dumbest thing. And here I am doing it. And, and I, and I want to do a proper scope for you guys later, but, I, but I'm saying, basically what I'm saying is my morning was a little challenging this morning. It was a little bit, it was, it was a really quiet and I, and I just didn't do the things I wanted to do. So I had to set the tone for the day. My car, in my car, I do have a CD player kind of thing going. And I basically listen to one, one or two recordings over and over again. It's like one of the coolest ones. I'll play a little bit of it just so you can kind of get a taste of what I do. And then I'll turn it off. I, I, I don't listen to the radio because there's a lot of commercials, a lot of talking and all that that music is is it, it doesn't help me with setting the tone so here i just want to let, i want to share this this cd with you just a little bit it's really powerful you have to purchase it i'm really against copying things and and doing it for free i, I don't like to do that i think people who sell this stuff should make a living so let's just see here i'll start with track it's really good let's see this three uh, here, listen to this of it listen to I want, I want you to just listen to this I listen to this all the time in my car and then I'll no, that's, that's my day so he says why does something sometimes things happen and sometimes things don't take place? We live in stagnation. That's my day today, this morning. I'm, I'm going to try to turn it around. I'll let you listen to a little bit more. To be at a standstill. But there are basic laws in this universe that we are governed by, and they work for you if you know how to apply them. And I would like to cover a couple of these laws just to assist you in knowing why these things happen. For an example, everybody. Uh, is aware of the law of gravitation. Uh, we do not know how it works, but... So, what he's going to go on to explain, he says, you know, the law of gravitation works for everyone, whether you're a good person or a bad person. If you jump off a 10-story a building, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a saint or, you know, a crook. It's going to have the same effect. He just repeats the same thing. It's just, I have it pretty much memorized. It works. It works for everybody. It doesn't matter whether you are a saint or whether you are uh, the opposite to a saint. Uh, If you jumped off a 20-story building and you are a saint and you land on a concrete sidewalk, you are going to be an unhealthy saint. If you happen to be a crook and you do the same thing, the same thing happens to you. So basically, it doesn't matter whether you're good or bad. If you use the law of gravity wrong, you are going to suffer. The law of electricity works for all of us. If we use it properly, we can light our homes by screwing our light bulb into a socket. If we stick our finger into it, then we get bit. Because you get burned. You can burn your house down with electricity or you can light your home with it. You can cook with it. 
you use refrigeration, all the great things that electricity will do for us. You do not have to be an electrical-minded person. You don't have to be a genius to do it. A child three years old can push a button and turn the lights on. And though the person is the greatest electronic engineer in the world, all he can do is he pushes that button. So, and then he goes on to talk about the law of attraction and the law of action, but he really, uh, Earl Schoff really talks about visualization and how we can put that, we can put a vision into our minds and that's going to come through creation and so forth. I, you know, that's, there's no science behind that. You're not going to prove that that happens. It's just basically, you know, you're not going to, you're not going to talk to a scientist and he's going to tell you that you can will something. But isn't it interesting that it doesn't cost anything? And by by cost, I mean number one, it doesn't cost any dollars or cents. But it doesn't hurt you if you think positive and if you start visualizing really positive things. So right now, today, I'm just trying to focus on the big, you know, the part of my my morning. I'm just going to stop talking and end the scope. I do love talking to you guys. I'm going to do a proper scope for you later, and I'll see everybody later. Thank you.